Hi, I'm Josh Plume. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about two devices that in some ways are very similar, but can also be very different and are used in different applications. I am talking about time, de time delay relays and time controllers. For the purpose of this video, we will talk about what each of these devices are and some of the ca capabilities of each of these devices. We will then talk about how they differ from one another and when you might choose one of these devices and not the other. We hope that by the end of this video, you have a better understanding of the time delay relay and timer controllers and can more confidently decide which unit is best for your specific application. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at these two devices and sometimes similar pieces of hardware and see if we can't shed some light on what makes them different. Before we get into the similarities and differences between these two devices, Let's first talk about when you might want to use a time delay device in the first place. Time delay hardware is typically used when a, a command or voltage signal is applied to a device and the contact switching or output relay commands will be delayed. This delay can vary depending on the device that is being used. Depending on the capability of your device, the delay can be adjusted from just a few mic microseconds to hours or even days in some cases. These delays can occur at the beginning of the command or a delay on, or they can occur at the end of a sequence or a delay off. The amount of applications where time delay hardware can be used is almost countless, but a few common examples would be a Christmas light display that you only want on during certain times of the day. Another very common example of this application is traffic lights. So now that we know some common examples of where and why you might use one of these devices, let's look at how time delay relays and timer controllers are different and why you might choose one or the other. Looking at time delay relays, one of the most defining characteristics of this hardware is the fact that there is a large portion of the function, if not all of the function, that is mechanical, depending on the relay that is selected. Because of the largely mechanical function, the capability of the relay is a bit more limited. In most cases, a time delay relay has a handful of delay options that can be configured by using some adjustable dials on the relay itself. Again, depending on the relay selected, the configuration and function will be different. The delay function is also somewhat limited because of the mechanical operation. So if a certain relay does not offer the time delay function that you need, you will need to look at a different relay with different delay configurations. In many cases, these relays can be a great option, but in other scenarios, you may need something a bit more robust with more control capability. This is where timer controllers come into play. The timer controller does not rely on mechanical operation to function. Much like a PLC, the timer controller uses programming logic to perform the desired functions of the user. Because these controllers do not re rely on mechanics, they do have a much wider range of configuration possibilities. They can also offer many different output relay options, some with different voltages to perform different functions. Because they function more like a PLC, they do require independent power to operate. This is one of the disadvantages to using this type of time delay option. If power is unavailable, they might not work for your specific application. However, if power is present, a timer controller can provide many more options than a standard time delay relay. But there are some cases where a simple delay relay is all that is needed. It is important to assess your specific scenario to determine which piece of hardware will best suit your needs. Whether you need a more robust complex functionality that the timer controller can offer, or if you just need a simple on delay time function. Understanding the differences between these two options can help you achieve the de desired result that you are looking for. For a full line of time delay relays and timer controllers, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com. 
the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also don't forget, like and subscribe.